close your eyes and watch your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths to see how the breathing feels. And allow the rhythm to find a rhythm that feels good. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Shorter breathing, more shallow, deeper, heavier, lighter. Lots of different ways you can breathe. And if you experiment with the breathing, you begin to realize that the way you breathe really does an impact, have an impact on the body and on the mind. The breath, if the breath feels uncomfortable, you're not going to want to stay here. You're going to, want to run off someplace else. And when the mind runs off someplace else, it's like running outside into the rain right now. There's no guarantee that it'll get any shelter. But if you make the present moment comfortable here in the body, okay, it's a good place to stay. It's like having a home. It's like having a roof over your head, walls around you to protect you from the cold and the heat. In other words, you, if the mind goes wandering out, it's like a little kid. You can get kidnapped by greed, kidnapped by aversion, kidnapped by delusion. And who knows where it's going to end up. But if you stay home and you've got a good place to stay, okay, you don't have to worry about the mind wandering off and getting into trouble. And then you've got good work to do here. It's not just a home, but it's also a home with an office. Because there is work to understand what's going on in the mind. We all want happiness, but why is it that we do things that end up cause suffering? Either for ourselves or other people. What's going on? We have to check and see. It's your intentions. And why are your intentions not right? Because you're not paying careful attention to them. Oftentimes we do things we don't even really know why we're doing. There's just an urge and we go with the urge. We've got to look into those urges when you feel like doing something. Okay, what's the feeling? Where is it coming from? And you begin to notice okay, there are certain ways that you think, certain ways that you talk to yourself that have an effect on how you're going to act. And sometimes these thoughts get lodged in the mind. You think something, and it gets lodged on there, and it suddenly comes out in an action a little while later. Well, you want to see these things because you want to be in control. You don't want these things to take charge of your life. Because they don't really care. Urges come through the mind. They don't have to be responsible for the results. You're the one that has to be responsible because you're the one who's choosing whether to act them on, on them or not. So try to be more responsible, which means being more alert to what's actually going on in the present moment. So we've got a comfortable place to stay and good work to do. You don't have to go running out into the rain or the snow or the, or the heat. You've got shelter right here. And within that shelter, okay, you can do the important work of life, which is to understand your own mind. Bring it under control so that when you do or say or think something, it's actually going to lead to happiness. A happiness that lasts, a happiness that doesn't cause any harm to anybody. So that's the best use you can make of your mind. But you have to train it first in order to get that use out of it. And so we're giving it a sheltered place where you can do your work in comfort with a sense of strength. So learn how to breathe comfortably and make this a daily practice, taking some time out just to be with your breath to get the mind to settle down so you can see its movements more clearly. And that way you get more in charge. <laughs>